السيد جوزيف أنيس الرئيس التنفيذي لجنرال إلكتريك فيرنوفا في أوروبا شرق الأوسط وأفريقيا سعيدة جدا برؤيتك هنا في هذا المبنى الجميل جدا أود أن أعرف منك بداية ما قصة جنرال إلكتريك فيرنوفا وما الذي نشاهده هنا في هذا المبنى اليوم Thank you for being here. Um, so General Electric um, is about to spin off into separate companies. Um, so GE Vernova is the energy businesses within GE. This center is really a collection of the technologies that we bring. So we, our two themes are really to electrify the world and to decarbonize it at the same time. So the center here, um, we built it basically at the sidelines of COP um, to really showcase the technologies that we have today to electrify um, as well as transmission distribution and then some of the decarbonization efforts that we can do and then uh, showcase some of the new technologies that we have uh, to decarbonize the world. أخبرنا أكثر سيد أنيس عن تجربتكم في مؤتمر الأطراف كوب 28 علمت أن كان لديكم مشاركة مهمة جدا وحضرتك ذكرت ذلك الآن كيف كانت هذه التجربة؟ It was fantastic. Uh, there was tremendous amount of engagement. I think uh, if you just go to the themes of COP, you know, to act, unite and deliver, um, that really truly reflected what was going on and from our perspective, what's so important is the engagement of bringing together government, industry, and having those meaningful discussions on what we can do to decarbonize the world. أخبرنا أكثر عن الصفقات أو الاجتماعات التي قامت بها جي إي فيرنوفا خلال هذه القمة أو المؤتمر في دبي. So I think, you know, there was obviously a lot of discussion around uh, the technologies that we have today, what can we do to help uh, decarbonize in the short term and in the long term. So, you know, some of the things that we announced, for example, with a customer in Saudi Arabia uh, was around converting one of the gas plants that was burning liquid fuel to gas. That, that alone will reduce carbon emissions by over 1.7 million tons. Um, we also uh, had an announcement with ENEC around our small modular reactors and nuclear reactors that, um, you know, if you look at some of the announcements in COP to triple renewables, to double uh, efficiency, as well as um, nuclear uh, implementation, these are all parts of what GE Vernova can do to support. So we have a technology portfolio that is really agnostic. We can, we can supply in all the different areas to help address these, these needs around the world. سيد أنيس ما هي الحلول التي تعتقد أن العالم بحاجة إليها حتى نسرع عملية إزالة الكربون؟ So it's I think you have to think about it in uh, a few phases, right? In the short term, there are certain actions uh, that can be implemented. Existing technology today, such as the one I just gave you an example for, is one. Um, the other is to implement uh, upgrades and technologies. So, you know, right on the, the left of you is, is one of our micro mixers from our gas turbine. That micro mixer can burn up to 50% hydrogen um, in a gas turbine today. So, as future technology evolves and the infrastructure is there, um, we're ready to support that. Behind me is a virtual reality that you can go into an existing um, reactor that we're developing for a small modular reactor and nuclear plant. Uh, an announcement that we did with ENEC um, to, to future that, uh, to advance that technology as well. So those were all some of the different activities that we talked about. We also talked behind me, you can see there's a small module uh, of a carbon capture plant. Power plants today, you can attach to it a carbon capture plant, which will also reduce the emissions. Right next to it is another another model of the future, which is talking about uh, direct air capture, which will even further enhance 
uh, the ability to reduce carbon emissions. So these were all some of the topics and technologies that we were discussing. وكيف تساعد اليوم شركة جي إي فيرنوفا نحو الوصول إلى هذا الهدف الصفري؟ So I think you know you, you bring up an important point. Um, it's not one size fits all, and it's not a solution that you can implement and go from 100 to zero overnight. Uh, it really depends on the resources that you have uh, and the geography where you're located. And as I said, I think for for GE Vernova, we have an open basket of technology to be able to address that, um, depending on where you are in the world. So, so it really it really depends on which solutions you have, and it's going to take really all of them to be able to get to that goal of getting to zero in the future. Some of the things that um, can be done to implement in the short term, medium term, as we discussed, but then long term, what's important, and I think what was critical in COP, um, is the enablement of government to provide policy that's going to incentivize the industry to further enhance um, their R&D efforts to be able to commercialize some of these solutions at scale. سيد جوزيف أنيس الرئيس التنفيذي لجي إيفر نوفا في أوروبا شرق الأوسط وأفريقيا شكرا جزيلا لوجودك معنا في برنامج كوكب. Thank you. Thank you.